Hi, everybody. This is Joe uh, with uh, Dare Homes, Home Ownership Counselor in Aurora, Oregon. Uh, we're going to start the video in just a little bit or the, the webinar here, the virtual tour. We're going to give everybody at least about a minute or two to still log in. So hang on. Thank you. Okay, everyone, again, thanks for joining. Uh, we're giving everybody just a couple more minutes to sign in. Uh, my name is Joe Becerra. I'm a home ownership counselor here at Adair in the Aurora, Oregon office. Um, I'll be hosting today. Also, my co host will be uh, Greg Walter, who's a home ownership counselor here at Aurora as well. Uh, wanted to just, before we start, I wanted to make sure everybody's aware that at the very bottom of the screen, there is a QA button. We welcome as many questions as you'd, as you'd like to uh, send our way, Greg and I will be answering those. Uh, we super encourage those. The way we're going to kind of do it is when the video starts, we will take a couple of questions here and there as the video is rolling the first time through and giving you the tour. And then when, the, when it's over, we'll actually just replay it as a background type of thing, and that'll be a more open Q&A session. Um, so just encourage a lot of questions, please. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to show was just um, the Adair Homes website. Um, super user friendly. We get a lot of compliments on this website. It's just loaded with tons of great information, um, many different options that you can go through and, and just learn more about Adair here. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you, though, is to make sure um, when you're on our website, and it's again, it's adairhomes.com. Right here where it says the region, you're allowed to change that and you really do want to change that to your particular build area where you're thinking about building. So you simply click on it, change your build area. You'll be able to select the state. And then you'll go to your area where North Willamette Valley. And now it'll confirm which region you're in and you'll be able to see what's particular to your region with pricing and floor plans and elevation or exterior options, things like that. Uh, if you're ever unsure of where you land, you know, call any Adair office at all, and we can look up your address and then direct you to the right branch and give you their phone number and all the good contact info. So again, today what we're going to be doing is uh, doing a virtual open house on the Mount Hood home. So I wanted to click on that one. Basically, again, adairhomes.com. You would go to our plans. The uh, Mount Hood would be in various uh, uh, tabs here, but I'm going to go to larger homes. It is one of our larger homes. And then it'll just be displayed by square footage as you scroll down. So then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get to the Mount Hood here. And here's the Mount Hood. So I'll click on Mount Hood view. Whenever you click on one of our floor plans, the first thing that pops up is just a streaming photo of, of the home that you're looking at. As you scroll down, it's gonna give you a summary of the floor plan, the home itself, uh, base price, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, those type of things. That's why the uh, region that you're in is so important because those do change a little bit from region to region as far as pricing. 
Um, as you scroll down, it's going to give you um, a layout of, of the home floor plan, an interactive floor plan. Feel free to uh, do spend some time with that one on your own. It's pretty fun. You can add things in there. As you scroll down, you will see now exterior options. Adair offers our homes in various exterior options. Some of our plans have two options. Some have four, some have five. This one, this particular one, the Mount Hood has six. Important to note that when you're selecting a different option, none of the standard options inside the home change at all. So you would still get everything that's included in a regular uh, plan, whether you go with classic, tradition, signature. The other important thing to note is as you're clicking on the photos, the description here will change to tell you what's different about that exterior so you can compare those. Um, some of the highlights that do come standard in all our plans are you, you do get um, foundation is included. A lot of people think that you need to do your own foundation. We do foundation. Uh, you get central heat and air, so AC is standard. Uh, mowing faucets, shaw flooring, gelled one windows, hardy plank siding, all that is standard. And again, as you scroll down some more, there are really cool photo galleries on all our plans. Keep in mind that those photo galleries are homes that we've completed. So they may have um, upgrades, they may have modifications. Uh, there might even be a couple of places where there's third party uh, work done, but we're just showing you homes that we've finished. Um, and then as you scroll down, the different prices will be here for depending on which exterior elevation you're thinking about building or exterior look you're going for. So all that is right there. So next, let's go again. We're going to be looking at the Mount Hood. Let's take a look at the Mount Hood. So this is a standard Mount Hood plan as we have it. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Adair, we are in uh, four states, 19 different offices, and all our homes are modifiable or customizable. Um, so when you take this plan, here is the general layout. For this particular family, they actually, you'll notice when we go through the video and when we get to the next page here, they shortened up the bonus room and made the length just a little bit less. They uh, turned the, the den into an actual bedroom because they added a closet here. They reconfigured their island so it's not this uh, uh, V-shaped island here. It's now going to be just a traditional rectangle island. They did that. And then they added some really cool cabinets right here in the nook area. They did a lot of other upgrades as far as like they vaulted the uh, primary suite area, they vaulted the, the great room, dining room, nook area, they upgraded their showers, they did upgraded flooring throughout the house, upgraded countertops, um, they, did, they added a wood stove that's not shown here yet because when we did the film it wasn't installed yet, uh, but that's some of the upgrades that they did. They also did... Um, all their, our, all their finishes as far as lighting, uh, doorknobs, uh, plumbing fixtures, they all did a black mat, which is also an upgrade. So you'll see that in the video, but just wanted to share some of the upgrades that they did do. And then, so this is the standard. Now we'll go to their plan. This is their actual plan. So if you notice here, now it shows that the bonus room is, is shortened in length. The den has the closet added. And then the nook has uh, added cabinetry right here. And if you remember, the island was different in the original plan. So this is what they went with. So just some really cool changes. And you, you're welcome to do many changes with the dare and explore like cost and uh, those things before you make a final decision on modifications that you may be thinking of. And so now, now we're actually gonna go into the video. And again, just remember, uh, we welcome all questions at the bottom Q&A. Uh, feel free to uh, send in all the questions that you may or may not have. Let's mute this music and let's start the video. So first, I guess, before we even start the video, if you look at the Mount Hood here, what they selected was the signature finish. So this is a signature look. Um, Adair does not do the, the decking. We would prepare it for decking for you with deck ledger, and then you kind of complete it the way you would like. As you notice here, as I mentioned, we do offer a regular foundation with all our homes, but when there's additional sloping, then uh, the customer uh, participates in that portion to add that. This house has a really cool um, uh, walk-in uh, 
you'll see the walk-in um what were we calling it greg earlier the crawl space yes <laughs> it's not it's not a regular daylight basement it's just a crawl space but they do have a door in there since it's significant which is a really cool feature so let's start the video so as you go through um again one of the things i wanted to show you right away is that they did do a lot of upgraded flooring throughout the house this is a regular laminate floor really popular with our homeowners they did some vaulting uh, there's the future wood stove it's prepared it's not installed yet but that's where the wood stove is going to go and there's a good look right away at some of the upgraded uh, black matte finishes that I mentioned so let's keep rolling here well, hopefully again as we go through the video if anybody has any questions please feel free to Put that into the Q&A. The chat function is turned off. So any questions through the Q&A? Thank you. So I want to show this really quick. This is really nice uh, view of our windows. Again, we do offer Gelwin windows. They're very high energy efficient windows. They're standard. As far as the interior window wrap, Adair finishes all our homes with um, drywall finish all four ways around. And we offer three different options for upgrades if you select that. This family went with a really popular sill and apron. So they added a sill and apron here. It's a really good look at that. This is actually the den where they added the closet. The closet would be off there to the left. Half bath, that's a really good look at again, their black matte upgraded finishes. They look really nice in there. There's a good look at the sill and apron there. That's really nice. I took a peek over here and move into the... So there's a pretty good view of the vault. They added this really nice vault up here. Good look at their dining room, living room, uh, nook area. We'll get a better look at that cabinetry that they included up here or they added up here, but. Really nice look and look at that flooring just looks really great. They kind of carried that throughout the house. So here's a good look at the primary suite. Pretty big room, very nice size. And they also, if you can notice, they added a door to walk out to their deck in the back, which is a really good addition. They added canned lighting in that room. We go into the primary suite uh, bathroom right now. Really nice bathroom. So in here, if you notice, um, the flooring's a bit different because they went with the luxury vinyl tile here that has some water resistance, which you use in a full bath if you wanna change that flooring from the standard vinyl. If you notice also, the cabinets are going to be different in the kitchen than they are in the bathrooms. These are a really cool blue. So you can have different cabinets in different rooms if you select that. A good look at the soaker tub that they got. Really nice lighting. So they tile showered their walls, which is really cool. That's a really nice upgrade. I like that color they selected for that. Look at the walk in closet. We just had a question come in from Cheryl. Um, the question was, are the six panel doors the standard doors? And I'll answer the question. The answer to the question is yes, they are standard doors. Those are standard, yes, they are.
If you notice there, they did a half light door going out into their deck from their primary suite. That's a really good look. Joe, there's another question from Randy. What was the size of the master? The master in there is going to be 15 by 19 three. A great look. So there we go. So look at this kitchen, just super nice. They upgraded the quartz countertops. Those cabinets are a standard cabinet. Um, that color is not in our lineup, I don't believe anymore, but the actual, the doors and the style is still standard for us. Uh, the knobs are, are an upgrade. They also did a really cool um, modified gourmet kitchen package. So standard with us is going to be your, you know, your oven with a cooktop and a microwave right above the, the, uh, the cooktop. Here, what they did is they added the hood vent and then the microwave was relocated to another portion of the, of the kitchen. So it's a modified gourmet kitchen. Uh, with the backsplash upgraded to full height. And of course, the taller cabinets, of course. Uh, so the cabinets are upgraded as far as the height, but the cabinet itself is standard. Really good view of that kitchen. That kitchen is really nice. Yeah, I love the backsplash and the way it all ties in. It they really did a great job with their color selection. Yes. So there's a good look. So these cabinets are not standard. These are going. This is your nook area, and they added more cabinets with uh, countertop with the backsplash. That's a super cool look, and it's something that you can definitely add. And that could be customizable if the home was little nook area is a little smaller. You can make this smaller, uh, taller, kind of kind of what you need for your functionality once you're living in it. And again, there's a good look at that standard six panel door. That is, those are your interior standard interior door six panel. So here's the utility room. So standard in our utility room, you would get the shelf here above the washer and dryer area. So that is standard. Joe, we just had another question come in from yes. Linda. Are the lever door handles an upgrade? I'm sorry? Are the lever door handles an upgrade? The so lever, if you wanted to go to lever, those would be an upgrade, yes. And she also asked, can an interior barn door be used in place of regular doors in the bedrooms and den? Yes. So here's bathroom two. And if you see what they did in here, so what they did in bathroom two is standard would be a tub shower combination, but they upgraded to a walk-in shower and those walk-in showers are super popular. So that's what they did in bathroom two. I'm going to take some peeks into bedroom two and three. This house is just really nice. Look at that view too, Greg. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely a beautiful setting. Oh, yeah. That's super nice. Yeah, that flooring looks great. I like how they carried it throughout the home. Keep in mind, like, if you want to upgrade some flooring, you don't have to carry it throughout the house. You can pick and choose which rooms you do want to upgrade. 
Same with countertops. You can pick and choose which rooms you do want to upgrade and which ones you want to leave standard. You control the budget is one of the really popular things for a dare to offer. The other bedroom. So we're getting towards the end of the video. So I just encourage anybody, everybody to ask a question. We'll do our best to get them answered, uh, but we'll still get some more good looks here of the home before the video ends. No, they just did a great job of picking their colors. It looks really nice in here. Your look at the home. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece of property, beautiful home. Look at that. Wow, that's a that's a nice deck. <laughs> Super nice. And there's the view we were talking about, access to the crawl space. I think that is just so cool how they added that door. And then you'll get a look inside the crawl space here in just a second. Look at that. That is so nice. Lots of great stories down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the video. I'm actually, again, I'm going to start it over. And then uh, any questions that could come in, we'd be happy to answer those. Um, a little bit more about Adair, just keep in mind that what we are, we are an on your lot builder. So what we do is if there, if you have property and you're thinking about building on it, then we can assist you with going out there and taking a look at it, walking the property with you, evaluating what you got going, what would be, need to be done to prepare the property so we can build a home on it, help you establish that site development cost, what it's going to cost to prepare it at the same time. Uh, develop a, 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 a quote on the items that you're thinking about, which home you're considering, modifications. And what happens when you follow that path is that you're able to establish your whole budget before you commit to building. And so that's one of the most popular things and why we get referrals over and over because people find out that you can get all your pricing in front of you before you commit to it. Now, at the same time, if you do not have property and you're looking for a piece of property, Contact the DARE, we're able to assist you with um, finding property. And then once you find property that you may want to buy, we'll do the same thing. We'll send an expert out there to evaluate the property with you, determine what needs to be done, help you gather the bids to see what the site development costs would be for that particular piece of property. At the same time, you're working with your home ownership counselor to establish the home quote and develop a budget for the quote for the home that you want with or without the modifications or upgrades that you would want. So again, it all comes together where you have the price of your land, your site development, and your house in your hands before you officially take out the loan, before you officially buy the land, and before you ever give a dare a dollar or sign any commitment with a dare, the whole budget's in front of the whole budget is in front of you. Joe, we have about four questions there. Perfect. Let's uh, go okay. ahead. Um, first question from Cheryl. Are you able to offer black windows at this time? As of about a week ago, those are still really hard to source. And Adair has a wide uh, assortment of sourcing options and they're not sourceable right now. So as of about two weeks ago, we're still not doing black windows. And Jason, how much were all the upgrades and total cost of the build? Um, for this particular bill? Yes. Well, I apologize, Jason. I don't have the cost of their land in front of me, but I will tell you that this house. I can answer that at a high level, I think. Go ahead. Um, I, I believe this house had about $170,000 in, in upgrades and the house without the land development cost was about 505. Okay. Thank you, Greg.
Uh, question from Zach, can they add a pantry to this plan? Yeah, so you can. What, what we would have to do is just kind of get creative. Once you're working with your home ownership counselor, you kind of share where you would envision a pantry. And then what most people do when they want to add a pantry is they just take current square footage in the home and modify it to adjust for a pantry. In another scenario, if it's not this particular home and you wanted to add square footage, you could add square footage to the home to create pantry space. But yes, you can. Randy asked, do we assist with some financing? So yes, we do have an excellent um, sister company, uh, Adair Financial Services, and they were created specifically to help families that want to build a home. And so yes, and in, in those type of loans, you can include your land, your site development, and your house. Of course, if you own the land already, you wouldn't have to include the land. Uh, but yes, we do offer financing options and we connect you directly with them to work directly with the lender. That's all the questions we have in the queue. Looks like we've lost a couple people. Okay. Yeah, I mean, any other questions anybody can think of, please do. And as I was saying, if you're not familiar with Adair Homes, you know, strongly encourage you to kind of surf our website a little bit, uh, filled with tons of information. You can be made aware when there are virtual open houses like this, when there's in-person open houses. We offer, we also do a really popular virtual builder 101, which gives you a great overview on from start to finish, how it would look like to explore this as an option to build. Um, so strongly encourage that. Again, also, if, if, if you don't know where to start, don't know anything, and you'd rather talk to somebody in person, contact any Adair office at all, let them know where you're thinking about building, and we'll connect you with somebody, and then we can just either invite you in, do a Zoom meeting, and just get you a great overview on what it takes to build and how we assist in that process and connect you with the lender, you know, maybe a realtor to help you find land, get your budget together, and um, strongly encourage people to take advantage of that. A couple more questions popped up, Joe. Great. Um, Randy, in the utility room, can you eliminate the closet and add a counter with a sink? So, yes. Um, well, the closet, a lot of times that holds the water heater, so you would just need to see where you could relocate that to. Um, and same thing. So you could do that, explore that as an option. If there's enough room in there, you could add a counter with that closet in there, or you could expand more living space to create a larger utility room. But yes, all those are options. Cheryl asks, do we offer wheelchair accessibility and interior doors? Yes. So what we offer is you would just get really specific with the person you're working with and let them know how wide you need those doors or hallways and then we could accommodate to widen those out for you and then linda asked where is your office located for a build in astoria and that would be our lincoln city office in astoria i'd have to look it up it may be woodland washington for that one because woodland has some of the oregon coast and we can take more questions, but I'm actually going to look that up as we're on the phone, as we're on the webinar here. So. You're welcome, Randy. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Thank you, Randy. So, yeah, let me just look that up real quick. Whoops. Story. So yes, Astoria is in the Woodland, Washington branch. So again, when you click on our website, you can go directly to Woodland and the, it'll give you their direct phone number. Um, or you can just call any branch and we'll give you the number. Any other questions? Jason, I would encourage you to um, shoot me or Joe an email and I'll, I would answer that question offline. Um, it, the, answer, the short answer to the question, it varies um, from market to market. Um,
Cheryl asked if we can add a walkout basement to any plan. The main thing there would be if the if the lot allows enough sloping to dig in to create that. But if if it does, then yes, as long as the lot allows it, we could do a walk-in basement on any of our plans. Great questions. Thank you, everybody, for asking. And keep them coming. We still got some more time here. If anybody can think of any more questions, Greg and I are happy to answer those. Any thoughts, Greg, on this plan or anything? Well, I, this is one of my favorite floor plans, Joe. I, I think it's just amazing. And I really think um, these customers did an amazing job with their interior choices. And um, the home turned out beautiful in a beautiful setting. So this is a really a great showing of... Uh, this particular Mount Hood floor plan. I agree. It's really nice. Yeah, I think I was telling you I invited a couple of families to join that are not ready to build yet. They have some land, but they're in love with the Mount Hood. And I was like, you really want to watch this video. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is a great one. Yeah. Any other questions at all? There's nothing in the queue and we're down to three participants. Okay, yeah. Well, I think with that, we're going to probably end this one. Again, my name is Joe. That's Greg Walter. We're in Aurora. Feel free to reach out to us. Uh, even if you're not building in our region, you can always reach out and we'll connect you with whoever you got to uh, work with, whoever you get to work with. And same thing, if you are in Arizona and you want to call a local Arizona office, but you're thinking of building in Idaho or Washington, they'll give you the direct number to the office where you're going to build. And again, thank you everybody for participating today, and we'll see you on the next virtual tour. Thank you all.